Okie dokie, so let's do another circle problem here. And these are typically a little bit harder for people because algebra is involved. So what I have done is written out the formula that we use for this particular type of problem when we are given the vertex of an angle that is inside of a triangle, but it is not at the center. So we're not dealing with the central angle here. This is a different beast. This is an angle made out of two chords and we're not intersecting them. They are not being intersected at the center of the circle. So we've got to use this rule. Okay, so the measure of the angle we're trying to find, actually in the usual way, would be the 87. Well, we already know that. So what we're missing this time is an arc measure. So instead of arc plus arc here, we're gonna have X as one of those arcs. We're gonna do a little bit of algebra. Normally when people see a number out in front of parentheses like this, they automatically want to distribute, and that's not bad, but I think it would save us a little bit of trouble if we went ahead and got rid of this fraction by multiplying it by the reciprocal, which is two. So two times a one half is actually one. So that, that's gone. So 2 times 87, that's 174. Now that's just equal to x plus 70. Well, that really uncomplicated things, didn't it? Got rid of that fraction. Now we don't have to worry about it. So let's subtract that 70 and get 104 for x. So that's your answer there. Now if you want to double check that, you could because we're really good usually using the formula to get the angle but maybe feel a little bit unsure about the other direction. So why don't we just try it and see if we get 87 for an answer when we plug our answer in. So one half of 104 plus 70, is that going to be what we want? Well, that's 174 and half of 174 is 87. Okay, because so good, we did do it right. So you can always go back and check if you're unsure. All right, next one. This one is a circle that has a vertex when an angle in associated with it and it is outside. So when a vertex is outside, we're not adding our arcs, but instead we are subtracting them according to our rule. And remember, it's not just any arc minus any arc. It's the big arc first minus the small arc. Okay, so we've got to look here and kind of gauge to see which one's bigger and smaller. Now, to me, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can trust that the bigger one is the one we don't know. The smaller is 55. The angle here is 30. So let's plug in what we know. 30 goes here because that is the angle. Now, the big arc we said was X because we don't know what it is. The smaller arc is 55. All right. We're going to do the same thing. So, you know, let's get rid of this fraction. Let's multiply it by its reciprocal. So 2 over 1 or just 2, same thing. And then 2 times 30 is 60. 2 times a half is just a 1, so that's really not anything to worry about anymore. Bring down your x minus 55. And then let's add 55 on both sides. So that's a 115. Now I'm glad we got a number that's bigger than 55. Why? Well, it's supposed to be the bigger arc, right? So if we got a number that wasn't bigger than 55, then that's probably wrong. So look at your answers when you are working through these and just double check and make sure they make sense, all right? We'll check this one as well. So usually we do one half of the big arc, which is 115, we just found that, minus the smaller arc, which is 55. So let's just make sure that this is checking, okay? So 115 minus 55, what do you know? It is 60 and half of that is 30. So I'm feeling confident about this answer.